Hi Rebecca. Hi Paul. How are you? I'm a bit cold. It's really cold isn't it? It's, it's June. It's there should summer. should be no need. Where'd you, get, where'd you go? Can you, can I, did you know in the UK there's 6,800 abandoned stations or disused stations? Yes, actually. You did, you did know that. <laughs> I did know that. Yeah. We, we talked about that a few times, haven't we? Yeah, once or twice. Right, and we've, we've visited like nearly 500 of those, which is like four percent or something i think there's a train coming because we've started our journey today in yatton which may tell you or may not tell you that we're doing the cheddar line or the strawberry, strawberry line. line so join us as we try and find and bring you all the quirky bits along the strawberry line which went from yatton just up there that way down towards witham we're not going to get as far as witham we're going to get as far as wells there's a good reason for that So Rebecca, I feel like we haven't made a railway video in a long time. We keep doing map mysteries, we keep doing Roman roads, we keep doing canals. So it's about time we got back on the railways, right? This is very true, it's very true. Here's our first sign of the day. Oh, we like a good sign. Yatton Junction. Now, interestingly, you say about Yatton Junction because we've, do, we've just coming off of the curve there, which this railway started off. So it was a junction. drinking McDonald's coffee. This is, this is bad. Hide, can you hide that quick? So the viewers it's don't see. It's recyclable. The other side uh, of Yatton Station on that side, I think there was another railway which went off towards Cleveland. Both of these railways closed in the 60s. This is Congressbury on first inspection. It looks like you can't see anything because it's a monumental amount of uh, over, overgrown vegetation. That's what yes, I'm looking for. That would. But actually, right there is the platform, right? Oh yeah, it looks and like right it, yeah. next to us is the old platform. If this was um, taken back, I'm not suggesting they do that, but if this was taken back, there would be a platform there. There would be a, a platform there because it starts back there by the fence, and uh, yeah, right here next to us. But it's very overgrown. It's a long platform. It's not that long a platform well, actually. It stops about there, stop so here. right here. Reasonable amount. Now this was also uh, the section where there was a branch off. Uh, I want to say right in branch. We're not covering that today because we're, we're never going to have enough time because there's about four stations on there. So our journey is going to carry on in a straight line. So we arrived at the next station on the line, Sanford and Bamwell. We'd seen a few pictures online here and we had great expectations, but unfortunately it turned out to be a private residential area. Now we think they do open up the cafe at weekends to non-residents, but whatever you do, just make sure you check online first before you arrive here, unlike us. Nevertheless, we did get a couple of quick shots of the old coaches here and a couple of the trucks. I'm sure if you did a bit more research than we had time for, you might be able to come and have a good nose around. So, Winscombe looks like a whole barrel of joy. Yeah. Started its life as Woodborough. Woodborough, yeah. Really windy day today. It is windy. Um, strawberry ice cream for sale. Oh, oh look, joy. That is good, isn't it? That's so cool. Do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Welcome to the platform, everybody. This is very exciting. It's a very done up, lovely, nice, proper nice, isn't it? Oh, I, I genuinely feel like now this is one of the places where we could just sit and wait for a train. This is lovely. If it was a bit warmer. Hold on, there's a timeline on this platform. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, there's a lot going on here, isn't there? I just walked past what they said about Roman legions. I mean, this isn't just about the railway history, this is about it's the local history, I think, and everything. Because clearly there is a lot of history in this neck of the woods, the Mendip, Somerset, uh, East Somerset. Right, I'm going into, the, going into the waiting, I assume it's a waiting room. In the waiting room of Winscombe Station. Right, so. Uh, I don't want to walk in the toilet. Sorry, I'm just going through the toilets. I'm going to walk down these little steps. Here. Going down the slope, Rebecca's going down the proper steps. So, a lot of this line, when it was opened uh, 1869, was done so as broad gauge. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, within about five years, the mid uh, 1870s, they changed it to standard gauge. And we're heading south now, continuing on our journey, heading sort of south east. I don't know what's next on the list, do you? Uh, can't remember. No, that's. that's uh, 
That's a common thing with us, isn't it? It is, but hey ho. Hey ho. <laughs> Right, what, what's it, what are we looking for? I think it's a tunnel. Yeah, I know, I know we're looking for a tunnel. But the name of it, oh, shoot. Shoot shelf tunnel. Shoot shelf. Yes. Shoot yeah, shelf. Shoot shelf. Be, yeah. Now it's just down to our left, but how we get there, I don't know. Obviously you can cycle through it, but as we keep saying, we didn't bring our bikes today, so we're doing this the cheating way. Well, it's not really, we're walking. We're, we're walking <laughs> quite a lot, aren't we? I reckon we go down there, Rebecca. Oh, shall we? Yeah. So walk up the uh, cutting, the immense cutting, up to the southern portal of Shoot Shelf Tunnel, and it doesn't look, from here at least, like it's got any sort of decoration at all. It just looks like someone's just cut a hole in the rock. It does look a bit like which that. Which is very really bizarre. weird, really bizarre, isn't it? A lot of cyclists coming through, but it does look beautiful. You sometimes wonder about the need for tunnels um, in terms of their depth, because we've seen a lot of cut and cover jobs in our time. This one, however, is not one of those. It is a very much cut into the rock. But look at that, there's no There is no all in masonry around the top or the front, or there's no portal, basically. Yeah, no at all. built portal. Gorgeous though, isn't it? It is lovely. Wicked, right. You really want oh, sorry. So greedy. So greedy. Right, into the darkness. We haven't done a tunnel for quite a while. No, we have not. not lined in any way, shape, or form. I guess it's limestone, I want to say. No. Why don't you put the other torch on? I have got the other torch on. Oh, I just can't see anything. No, it's because this torch is very good. I kind of want to make sure, I can't make sure. I want to see the other side is um, the same in terms of no lining. Yes. So let's have a look at that. This cyclist comes coming through the other way. Right, reached the other end of the tunnel, and from about two thirds actually, right? Yep. About two thirds of the way in from the south, it's completely lined. Yep. Um, and this end. That looks like a normal tunnel. Looks like a typical tunnel, masonry, um, sort of arch, brick throughout. Keystone. Tunnel, normalness. Other end, not normalness. I wonder if they um, extended the length of the tunnel yeah. in some way. I don't know. We'll have to do some reading up on that. Now you may wonder why I'm showing you a hedgerow next to a main road. Well, the official cycle route for the Strawby line has stopped and the next three disused stations along the line are not easy to get to. Here is the Axbridge goods shed and as quick as a flash, there was the station. So that's that one ticked off. Equally, Cheddar and Draycott are quite private. So we kept our respectful distance, took a quick picture, ticked them off, and moved on. How's the, how's the cinematography going, Rebecca? Oh, it's great fun. Great fun? Loving it. Cool, good shot down there? Yeah, epic. Wicked. And it's a long way down, isn't it? It is a long way down. I mean, it's almost tunnel-like, and it's, um... Oh, God, I'm stuck to brambles. <laughs> it is almost tunnel-like, and it's a... Yeah, and it's, um, can't see a lot, because it's so... There's a lot of trees There's a lot of debris. Um, on the other side, there's a little building. <sighs> There is a little building. I reckon if you go over there, you might be able to see the little building down the side. I don't reckon it's railway related because I think it's almost on the actual alignment of the railway itself. Oh, look at the church. Pretty gorgeous too. It's a bit right. windy. Yeah, it's stupid windy. <laughs> Next up, we've got um, what should be called Westbury Sub Mendip, but actually they didn't call it that because they don't want to confuse it with Westbury of Wiltshire. Quite a big junction even as we speak today. Mm -hmm. So they called it Lodge Hill. Lodge Hill. Lodge, Lodge Hill. Hill. Yeah. That is our next stop on today's little journey. Okay, let's do it. So all that's left of uh, Unit 4A is now the uh, little was the goods shed. Uh, it is uh, currently to let. So Actually, you it's can 4 4A and 5. 4 4 a and 5. <laughs> you can now let out as the old goods shed of uh, what is it called? Lodge Hill. Lodge Hill, yes. Uh, West, serving slash the, Westbury. <laughs> yeah, Westbury Sub Mendip. The station has been demolished. We believe it's now part of the Cranmore Line, East Somerset Railway. Yes, they use the brickworks from all yeah. the buildings. Right, we've got one more stop. 
Okay. With a funky name. Wells? No. Well, yeah, technically, yeah. But before Wells. Oh, okay. Right, Rebecca, what, Rebecca, what are you doing? Rebecca, what are you doing? I'm... Well, you got a strawberry. I thought it was appropriate. Have you been sneaking them in all day long? Maybe. Last station of the day, Rebecca. Yup, yup, yup. So this is Wookie. Wookie. Wookie Hole, the caves are just up ahead of us. We're just coming into the town of Wells. Now, there is another Wells, say Wells, Tucker Road, I think it was called. We'll come to that in another video because we're gonna make a short video in Wells and all of its quirky railways. Very small city, loads of railways, loads of stations. So let's do a video about that separately. But for the meantime, here is Wookie on the Cheddar Valley line, the Strawberry line. Haybridge Station Yard, Wells. Bit of a decrepit sign, but it's still, it's still there. That's kind of funky. funky isn't it? But I don't know what side the station was, Rebecca. So I'm wondering if we just head down to the track because this side you can head down to the track. So let's give a quick look okay. before we say goodbye to our lovely uh, viewers. Okay. Sun, sun's come out, Rebecca. I know, right at the end of the day, typical. Yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Right, so we've just left Wookie. We're gonna head on into Wells and we're gonna make another video, as we said. Mm -hmm. We couldn't find anything of Wookie Station. We hope you enjoyed this little every disuse station. It's been a while since we've been out on the railway. Yeah. Um, but we've got plenty more of these to follow. I don't think we've given up on the railways because we haven't given up on the railways. Oh, no, our first love. Mm -hmm, definitely. <laughs> right, thanks for watching, people. Um, we'll see you next week, basically. Basically, yeah. If you enjoyed watching this, give it a subscribe. If you didn't, don't. You know, yeah. just whatever works for you. Whatever rocks your boat. <laughs> but thanks for watching. We appreciate that. Goodbye now.